Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. Before we get going, I just wanted to wish a couple of friends happy birthdays. First of all, Asia here in Kamloops. Uh, I've known Asia for, I don't know, 10, 15 years. I'm not even sure how long, to be honest. Met through friends of a friend and uh, quite a few younger, years younger than me, but always fit in with uh, people older than her and I think that's pretty cool for sure. Uh, very mature, very smart person and uh, I'm very l lucky to consider you a friend. I know we haven't hung out in years but uh, I like to think that if we saw each other in town we would have a quick chat and catch up. Anyways, a catch up as in uh, catch up on things, not eat some ketchup. Unless unless you wanted to eat some ketchup. I'm kind of into ketchup now. Now thanks to that spicy ketchup that we got from Debbie. Uh, but anyways, we're already getting sidetracked. Hope you have an awesome day today, Asia, and I uh, hope you're having an awesome weekend, and hope that you are doing well. Uh, you are awesome. We really appreciate you. Uh, also, Juan A. in Santa Cruz de Tenerife, Spain. <laughs> I had to look that one up to find out how to pronounce it. I have obviously never met Juan before. We're friends on social media, and that's good enough for me. Um, I don't know, nothing really, I don't really know you at all, don't really know anything about you, but I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have an awesome birthday today. Happy birthday, Juan, and happy birthday to anyone celebrating a birthday today, and happy unbirthday to all the rest of us. Hope you all are having a great day, and uh, yeah, I hope this is going to be a good weekend for you. I hope you get the weekend off, maybe get some time with uh, your family, your friends, the people that you love. Um, I actually, we plan on going camping today. I'm really excited about that. We're going friend, uh, friends, we're going camping with some really good friends and uh, actually the fireworks couple. So really excited about that. There's going to be lots of other awesome people out there. I know of a few that are going to be out there, but there's always some pleasant surprises at these things as well. We're going to do an Indian food style potluck, I think tomorrow night. So Lady Shorts has actually been hammering away at creating some excellent smelling and tasting things. I did have a little sample of one of them. Just She wanted to make sure, get my approval, make sure, make sure that it was good. It's good. It's so good. Um, again, we're just getting sidetracked. It's going to be one of those kinds of videos, I feel like. Um, I also want to give Lady Shorts a huge shout out and a thank you for last night, yesterday. I actually got some pretty rough cramps from this challenge. Uh, I thought this would be an absolute breeze because I did the Death Nut 3 the other day and had almost zero cramps from that. This one, I had minor cramps. Actually, no, they were quite, quite medium cramps. I didn't get to uploading before the cramps hit, so I wasn't able to upload. I had a little nap pretty much right where this camera is. This is kind of my go-to nap spot. Uh, my cramps cap cramp spot <laughs> um, and then the cramps went away lady shorts brought me blankets when I was cold brought me drinks of water drinks of milk um, she took, took Maggie for a walk around the block she absolutely babysat me um, I was all good after I think two sets of cramps and then we went to bed around 11 o'clock I want to say and about 10 minutes after laying in bed, the cramps came back. So I came back out here just so I wasn't rolling around and groaning in bed and keeping everybody awake. So had a little cap cramp nap on the carpet here again. And we're feeling pretty good today. Feeling a little bit, a little bit rough, but not too bad for sure. Uh, definitely going to take a break off of the challenges for today maybe tomorrow too because we are going camping we're going to be having our dinner with friends tomorrow and I don't want to come home and do a challenge too late in the day and absolutely ruin my night so we're gonna sit tight for a couple days maybe um, I do plan on filming a video out at the camp spot but I don't know if they have internet out there so I don't know if I'll be able to upload it um, might have to go a day without a video on the channel but we'll see what we can do we'll see who knows right so anyways <clears throat> let's get to a re review <laughs> something not so spicy today and not because of the challenge or anything but just because that's what was next up on the shelf these are from old dutch these are gourmet seasoned spindle pretzels now we did the jalapeno ranch ones 
um, I want to say a couple of months ago even now, they were surprisingly good, and then I just happened to see these ones, I can't even remember where, to be honest with you, but couldn't resist walking, like, you know, I had to pick them up so that we could do another Old Dutch pretzel review. And I also do want to say, uh, Michigander Man. Michigander Man, I'm not sure how you actually pronounce that. I know you're from Michigan, so Michigander Man, I don't know. Um, I do have, actually, you might even be able to see them. No, they're behind that chair. I do have your two bags of pretzels. I want to mail those out today. I'm sorry that it's taken me a while. I've been so busy with everything. <laughs> uh, drama stuff, life stuff, um, challenges, <laughs> lots of challenges. I wanted to to uh, mail those out yesterday, but I wasn't feeling very well. <laughs> so anyways, let's get into these ones. Seasoned spindle pretzels. I don't really know what flavor they are other than I did give the ingredients a quick read, but uh, naturally and artificially flavored, it says right there. Old Dutch gourmet seasoned spindle pretzels are bursting with flavor that can't be beat, delivering a classic crispy crunch with outstanding flavor and quality that is signature of all of our products. Um, OldDutchFoods.ca is their website. Let's go ahead and read the ingredients. It's not too bad on here. Ingredients are enriched wheat flour, salt, vegetable oil, artificial butter flavors, uh, corn syrup, corn maltodextrin, yeast, buttermilk, yeast extract, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, mustard, natural flavor, disodium isonate and disodium guanolate, lactic acid, citric acid, and sodium hydroxide. Contains wheat, milk, and mustard. So it's like a honey mustard garlic pretzel, I guess. I'm not really too sure. That's what I can gather from the outside. That's what they're showing us there. It's a picture, not a window, so we'll see what they're like inside of there. Nice and easy to open, I like that. They smell buttery. I'm not smelling much for garlic or onion. Hmm. I'll show you what they look like. Give them a sniff while you're in there. They look a little bit more seasoned than they do on the outside, actually which is not usually the case. Usually it's the other way around. Usually they look more glorious on the outside. So it doesn't look too unusual. It looks like a spiral spindle pretzel. Let's give them a go. From Old Dutch Foods. These are gourmet seasoned spindles. Keep my shorts. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a cross between like garlic bread and like a French onion soup sort of a thing. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you can't have any because there's onion and garlic in this. These aren't bad. These are pretty good. Mmm. I'm not tasting mustard at all. It'd be nice if there was a little bit more mustard on these. They're quite salty. Hmm. Very salty and buttery. any of these there's garlic and onion on them I'm sure you'd probably be okay but you're too precious I'm sorry 
Or do you see mommy out there? Nope. <laughs> Lady Shorts is out in the yard doing gardening right now. She's doing work while I'm having snacks and recording these videos. She's so supportive and so awesome. Again, I gotta give her a huge shout out. She's awesome. She rocks. Oh, Maggie's out of here. I guess that's all we get for Maggie hangout today. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're too cute. You're too cute. Hmm? She's also probably pretty grumpy. She really did not not want to, to come back inside from out in the yard. She was sunbathing. You're making a funny face. You're making a funny face right now. <laughs> Anyways, I should probably wrap this video up. We don't need this one to be too long. Ah, 11 minutes. That is quite short. That is a a short but not heated video. I actually didn't even bring any tincture over. I could have done that, but that's okay. I actually don't really want to do any tincture this morning anyways. I keep it unheated today. Keep it nice and mild. Um, zero heat. The flavor is pretty good. The, yeah, buttery, garlicky, oniony, salty, pretzely. Good crunch. Almost tastes like a soup base, sort of a seasoning. Oh, hi. <laughs> My mouth is watering. Good. That I drooled. Nope. <laughs> Almost. I guess that means they're tasty. I don't know. Would I recommend these? I think so. I think I would recommend these. If you like movie popcorn and garlic and onion buttery popcorn pretzels. I don't know. Some along, something along those lines. Not a lot of mustard in here. I wish there was more, but that's okay. Would I restock these? Hmm. Maybe? It'd be good to add some pepper powder into this and shake it up. With the bag closed, of course. <laughs> yeah, I think I would get these again. And definitely season them up a little bit with some spice, some heat. Yeah, they're good. Old Dutch gourmet seasoned spindles pretzels. They put the S on the end of spindles and pretzels. I figured they should leave the S off of spindles. Seasoned spindle pretzels? Seasoned spindles pretzels, you know? There's too many S's there. <laughs> and my name starts with S. It doesn't really actually mean anything. There's dog hair on this now. I guess I was petting her. The joys of having a dog. Dog hair everywhere. She's quite the silly dog. Yeah, she's quite silly. She loves her rubber chicken again now that she has that duck. She's got her man bear pig and her chicken there. What are you doing, Maggie? Are you being funny? She says, no, don't talk about me. <laughs> Anyways, I <laughs> think she's done. <laughs> she's a funny doggy. Where are we? See, this is that's why I don't change the camera angle, because then you got to readjust it. Yeah, something like that. That'll do. Well, now Maggie won't be in the end screen, but I guess that's okay. She's just there. Um, yeah, I'm going to wrap the video up here. In this corner, I'm going to leave our Heat My Shorts logo. Make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already. In this corner, Tom Bailey's channel. Um, he does videos on re reviews, spicy things, um, recovery and addiction chats, and vent venting videos you could say it's a not necessarily family friendly channel um he's been through a lot and he says things how they are he's not afraid to swear or curse on his channel which that's his choice i still watch his videos absolutely he's a very good friend of mine he's been there for me a lot every day in these last days as far as i can remember he's been really checking in on me spreading the love being a good friend, so really appreciate you, Tom. Um, again, keep my shorts in this corner. Tom Bailey's channel. 
and up here two relevant playlists for you to check out and enjoy if you'd like to. <laughs> have a great day. Have a great weekend. I love you all. Hopefully we'll hang out again tomorrow. Probably. Hopefully anyways. If not, the next day or something. Love you all. This has been Keep My Shorts with Steve and Maggie. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.